Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Hello. We're back from Florida. We are back. We're alive. Phil didn't get eaten by the alligator. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> That's not funny. It's kind of funny. In hindsight, it's kind of funny. What's really funny is everybody's sending me pictures of giant alligators after that. Yep. If you don't know what we're talking about, you have to watch the live stream that we did from Hollywood Studios. Uh... And it's talking about the, uh, hello, Bass Angler. It's talking about uh, a alligator encounter I had at Merritt Island. Hello. Hey, hi, Joy. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. What's happening? Well, um, whew, man. You know, if you go out and you make photographs and then you make some video about it and then you come home and you edit the photos and you put the video together and you do it all in one day <clears throat> while it's still fresh in your little tiny brain, it's not that hard. But man, if you shoot a whole week worth of video and it's sometimes you're doing video uh, from 8 in the morning until dark, and then you try to put all that crap together a week later it is crazy uh, so in other words I've been working on the videos from Disney World and some of them the the crowds were a lot more in October than they were in July so in order for us to to uh, Mike has power back that's awesome in order for us uh, anybody else get hit by the by the the yeah. hurricane Tropical storm. Hurricane. Hurricane. Uh, we we got nothing here. Did, you didn't have anything, did you, Joy? Joy lives probably five or six miles from us. We had some heavy rain about 6 a.m. Oh, but... I was completely unconscious at that mm -hmm. point because I stayed up till 1.30 working on Disney videos. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, <laughs> crowd levels crowd levels um. <laughs> yeah so anyway it was it was hard to to get all the rides ridden and try to concentrate and do some photography at a lot of the parks but the one day when we went to animal kingdom that, that was the best disney park photography day i've ever had and i can't wait till that video comes out there's 75 edited photos uh in that video it's going to be a monster so there you have it. Randy says he's been up since 4 a.m. Power out about 10 times off and on. Well, wow. I'm glad you got power now. Joy says nothing but rain. Yeah. And that's what's up. Well, uh, what else we got going on? Let's see if I can figure it out. Uh, Fuji, you know, even though the X-T3 is not their flagship in the X-T series anymore, they just released yesterday new firmware version 4 up from 3.3 .3 for the X-T3 and it it boosts the autofocus capabilities to where they match the new camera the X-T4 now of course it's not going to have the different screen that the X-T4 has from a firmware update and it's not going to have the better battery that the X-T4 has from a firmware update and it's not going to have the in-body image stabilization that the X-T4 has from a firmware update but it's cool that they have uh, put all the latest tricks for uh, autofocus into the older X-T3. The X-T3 has been around since late 2017 or 2018 something like that uh, so it's really cool that they're still updating it even though there's a new flagship in the X-T line you know and that makes me wonder if Nikon who's been doing a great job of uh, of updating firmware on the Z series cameras, the Z cameras are in the threes on version numbers. But now, you know, with the Z6 Mark II or Z6 II coming out, I wonder if they're going to continue to support the regular Z6. You know, you, you you're not going to be able to improve the autofocus of a Z6 I to match a Z6 II because the Z6 II, the big improvement was adding a second microprocessor in there so you know that that's hardware not firmware so but anyway it's pretty cool that that uh, Fuji 
updated the software on the X-T3. I'm excited about it. I, I updated it last night and haven't done anything with the camera since then, except for it's, it's making the video on this live stream right now. So anyway, that's really cool. And uh, I don't have a channel of the week this week. And uh, I don't know about David's live stream. So I, I, I hope he does one Tuesday, but I don't know if he is. And if he does, I don't know if there's a photo challenge. But anyway, I will be this coming Tuesday. Well, gosh, that's election day. Yep. That's election day. That's kind of a big deal. But anyway, I'll, I'll still be at work on Tuesday at 530. And I'll probably flip open my phone and see if he is streaming. And if he is, I'll, I'll try to catch it and maybe chat with some of you folks. A lot of the same people are on here as on David's. Uh, now, something else that's coming up in a few days besides David's live stream and the election on Tuesday, mm -hmm. tomorrow, a television program that everybody in this house really likes. Uh, matter of fact, if you look around on your screen, you can probably guess which television program we're talking <laughs> about. But uh, season two of our favorite uh, series that's on Disney Plus, the Disney streaming service. Is anybody guessing it? Nope, nobody's guessing it. Oh, Bass Angler says David hasn't said anything about a live stream. David said, sorry, didn't send a picture. He didn't have one that fit correctly. Oh, David's here. Yeah, hey, hey, David. David. David's in the house. We got we got YouTube royalty with us tonight. Mm -hmm. It's the Georgia photographer. Cover up that shirt. No, I'm not covering this up. Hold on. Go dogs. <laughs> anyway, David's here. That's awesome. Um, I don't know what I was talking about. Um, oh, the television the program. Yes. Yeah. Oh crap! What did I just do? So the program we're talking about that comes that starts its second season tomorrow night is whoop whoop. Mando. It's the Mandalorian. Mandalorian season two comes out tomorrow, and uh, I can't wait to slide home from work, and uh, and check that out at ear splitting volumes. It's going to be really cool. Hmm. Um, what else we got? David or did he, David say whether or not he's doing a live stream? He didn't say yet. Oh, hey, he says hey. So, hey, David, if you're doing a live stream, say so. And then we'll say, hey, David's doing a live stream. <laughs> I think everybody should just log in and see if David's doing one Tuesday at 530, and then we'll know. All right. Uh, so we got a pretty good, you know, it's been a month since we've done a live stream like this. We did one two weeks ago uh, at Hollywood Studios. He is. Yay, David's doing a live stream. Okay, cool. See you then. Uh, that doesn't mean you should log out, though. Cool. Uh, anyway, um, so it's been a while, so we did a double photo challenge, and it's kind of a difficult one. Reflections, I think, are are not exactly easy, and um, uh, total stranger street photography is really not easy. It's it really make you self conscious, especially if you haven't done much of it. So, uh, are we? Uh, are we? Uh, are we? Uh, are we? Uh, gonna share updates. Updates? Mm-hmm. Oh, you want me to ask you what's going on with you? Yeah. Oh, hey, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on with you? I bought Phil some waders so that he doesn't <laughs> fill up his rain boots romping around in a lake anymore. Y'all remember the, I don't know if you guys have seen the video, but I went out to the to the cypress trees that are growing out of the water, and I had on my, my uh, rain boots and I got deep enough in the water to where the rain boots were underwater. And so Heather bought me some waders that come up to here so I can really, <laughs> I'm going to need a really tall tripod to exceed the limits of these. Um, so that's really fun. Thank you for those. <laughs> Very nice. So we got uh, 47, uh, 47 photos and uh, you ready to look at them? Mike says you don't have to remember to zip your pants. Yeah, that's exactly true. I don't. I could. I, I don't even have to wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. All right. So here are the photos that we received for not this week's, but this time. Can you believe that this is our eleventh time doing this? Joy wants some. She said to send me her. Send her a link. Okay. Cool. Hey, Joy, have you found my, my uh, 
lens cap out there at the cypress trees that same day of the, the, the pants unzipped and the and the water in my boots i lost the i dropped the front lens cap of my 18 to 55 um fuji film lens as a matter of fact let me show you oh it's probably over here Many years ago, I found a, a, a lens cap just laying around and I picked it up and I've had it ever since. And it's a Canon lens cap, but it's the exactly correct size to fit my 18 to 55. So my Fuji 18 to 55 is now wearing a Canon lens cap. I thought that was pretty weird. Put that up. Look at this. Here is a Low Pro 200, uh, Pro Runner 200 AW camera backpack that I've had since 2011. Here's a 300. And because I like them so much and they don't make them anymore, I bought up all of them on eBay. Here's, a, here's <laughs> another 300. Here's another 200. And Heather's camera bag is yet oh, is yet another 200 so with we've the, got with a yeah that's how we can tell hers <laughs> so we got five of these things if you want a good camera bag on the cheap get the low pro pro runner 200 aw they're awesome my Joy original wants to see your waiters oh well i mean they're in this box they're made by what's that say frog togs? Fro frog togs yeah and they are who wants to see them Joy. Joy wants to see them. Well, I mean, I'm not going to put them on, but there they are. I put show them on. her the picture on the side. Okay. Designed for you, created for the outdoors. That's what the box says. The box was designed for people who can't close boxes. They look like that. Is that in focus? I think it I've got appears. that in the plane of focus. Yeah, it appears so. They're pretty cool. They're really comfortable. And they've got uh, in the bib, there's a, uh, a zipper on this side and a zipper on this side that goes all the way across. And then there's another zipper at the top for a second pocket. And there's a pocket on the inside of the, the bib part. Pretty cool. Thank you for these, Miss Heather. You're welcome. Okay. We were supposed to be talking about pictures, but yeah, we... Sorry. This is all your fault. I didn't do anything. You went to show the Fuji lens cap that's canon. Yeah. So it's my fault then. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, any comments that we should be seeing? Uh, Joy says cool. Bass Angler says frog togs are high quality. What is all this mess? Um, that's somebody who is spamming us and I'm deleting their comments. Oh, good job. I wonder if you can, can you kick them off? I don't think so. Oh, put user in timeout. Bam. Okay. See you later, person who keeps writing crazy stuff. We we have a, a, a nice family friendly, other than copious amounts of beer, uh, live stream. We don't need any of that mess. Ah, Bass Angler says frog togs are high quality. Cool. Uh, well, Heather's not going to buy no junk. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, anybody else saying some stuff? Oh, rule of reciprocity. Now, Flo has to buy Heather something. <laughs> oh, well, show them your well, earrings. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I got. I don't know if, will it focus if I... No, you'll have to hold it back. Oh, okay. So, I have to do it back here? I mean... Well, the, the plane of focus is where your eye is. Okay. This is my, my Minnie Mouse ring from Disney World. She had, I got her this necklace last year for Christmas. And she, we're at the store and she says, look, these, these earrings match my necklace. I just handed her the credit card and said, go to town, get those. Yep, so I got the earrings and I got the ring. So anyway, there we have it. Uh, but they're not going to help you if you're waiting out to take pictures. Mm, no. Okay, we got to do the pictures, but I want to see if anybody else is talking. Nobody else is talking. All right, pictures. Okay, so we got 47, and, you know, we got two different uh, photo challenges, so we'll just have to kind of look at them and, figure out who's talking about what i'm going to pull up the emails so heather you've got to watch the uh oh joy says very pretty yep thank you joy. so you've got to to uh watch the chat for si, me. Senor. okay so 
Oops, I, did, I do <laughs> that every do that. time. Okay, so this is Cuban rum, and it says gesture, so I'm not sure if Cuban rum meant to send this to me, but it's kind of a total stranger street photography as well. Uh, and I like, you know, the, the uh, these, I, I don't know what's going on here, but I like this eastern bluebird and the cardinal, mm -hmm. and that looks like some sort of a... Chickadee? Yeah, but it's like a... a a different kind of chickadee? Yeah, it's like a bird from Europe, I think. Yeah. That has a name that I'm not going to say because they'll flag me. Oh, yeah, it will. Oh, yeah, he he's, he was in a hurry to send this stuff in. Mm. So he didn't change the file name. I got gotcha. you. Gotcha. All right, very cool. Thank you, thank you. I can't wait, uh, Cuban Rum, till you see one of mine that I put in because it, it'll remind me of something you see in your front yard. <laughs> All right, this look at this. I don't know where this world. is, but it is absolutely beautiful. Just beautiful. I'm this yeah. is I'm guessing this is not total stranger street photography. This, this must This is reflection. This must be reflection. See how smart I am? I can I can not smarty thing. Smarty britches. Speaking of smarty britches, I was getting my cooler ready. <laughs> I was getting my cooler ready for tonight's live stream and I was putting the ice in the cooler and I already had my beer in there and one of the ice cubes hit one of the beers and popped a hole in it. So there's beer squirting all over the kitchen. Uh, very smart, very smart man. Uh, he says this is Jackson Hole Grand Tetons. Awesome. I, I, yeah, it's gorgeous. I, I figured it had to be someplace out west. That ain't Miami right there. Mm. It's awesome though. Great. I love the the uh, the reflection, obviously, but the the mountains and the clouds over the mountains. It's kind of obscuring some of the mountain. Yeah. And the colors in the in the sky. Yep. Very cool. Look at this. Now that might be Miami. Is that that might be a golf course or something? Might be. I don't know. It's very pretty though. I love the sun coming through the clouds there. Yeah. I think I'm set up to... What are you doing, honey? I'm trying to make it where I can go one-to-one. -one. Oh. But, uh, you're in the library, not develop? Well, yeah, but... Oh. Now let's see when I go back to library if it does. Yes, now yeah. I can go one-to-one -one instead of... 116th. I still haven't updated. Uh, you know, we obviously Heather and I both subscribe to to uh, Lightroom, but I still haven't updated to the new version Heather has. Mm -hmm. But I've been in the middle. I've had develop windows open and all sorts of stuff because of this massive um, Disney World project. So I haven't updated. Man, that picture is pretty. Is Did he it? say where that was? Ah. Um, no, he hadn't said where this one is. Very it's awesome. Beautiful though. Very cool. All right, next, another Cuban rum mm. reflection. And there's a, what do you call that? That's, That's a, a um, water lily, yeah, right? Maybe. Uh oh. It's Heather, pretty. Heather's going to Google it. I like the really, really bright and the really, really not bright all in one picture. That's cool. It's a lotus, Egyptian lotus, or ah. pygmy water lily, one of the two. It's pretty. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks different than the water lily. That I took a picture of at Disney, at Disney World, World. And, it's, and it doesn't look like a lotus because it doesn't have the shower head in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. Yeah. Very cool. All I right. Love it. This is, you know, it's just cool. This dude has a couple of dogs in a, in a, stroller. In a baby stroller. And, you know, dogs can, those dogs, if they wanted to, they could totally outrun that man. <laughs> but yeah. he's rolling the both of them in a stroller and I think it's awesome. I love it. Very cool. Very cool indeed. All right, here is another uh Total Stranger Street. I like that. And yeah, this is I Is this indoors or outdoors? It looks indoors. See, there's buildings back it, here. Yeah. Or not buildings, walls. That's what I mean. That's cool though. Yeah. I'm telling you, you could take off all your clothes and run around, and these two right here would never. Would not know not, it. They are, <laughs> those are in the phone zone right there. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, that's the. Uh, that's the 16 millimeter 1.4. That's a. Uh, that's a cool uh, Fuji oh, lens. He said it's outdoor. It's an open air atrium. Gotcha. So that it's yeah. Gotcha. That's cool. 
I think that's what that is. I, I think that's the Fujifilm 16 millimeter 1.4. That's awesome. Very cool. All right, Dana Garrett. This is our this is our late arrival. This one got here sometime I think after five o'clock, but it's very cool. I like it. Uh, so you got some some total stranger uh, sort of street photography and reflections all in the same shot. This guy fly fishing. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I like that he's using a bright colored line because you can see it. Yeah. Well, that's the way fly fishing line is. It's oh, it's is it? it's usually yellow or green like that mm -hmm. all the way out until the end. And then the last, the last few feet of it, which I guess you would call a leader, is monofilament clear. Gotcha. But this stuff is designed to float on top of the water. Uh, gotcha. You don't want your fly to sink. That makes sense. Very cool. Very nice. F eight. Hmm. Nice choice there to get the to see not just the man but the get all the reflections and the trees in focus too. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, Heather Boyd. Oh no. So this, you know, I, I I laid down the challenge. If you can get your total stranger street photography to be looking right at you, you get bonus points. So Heather's getting bonus points on this one. Uh, and you know she's using it 18 to 400 but she's not using all of it this is only 122 millimeters this is across Market Street yeah I think it is it kind of like you were in front of I was in front of the choo-choo yeah very cool I don't think this video is out yet I think it's this not. video is the what day is this this day is Thursday I think mm -hmm. this video comes out Saturday thank you Joy you need a floating blog <laughs> Thanks, Bass Angler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is uh, this is really cool. This is reflections and total stranger street photography. All in one shot. This is Heather. This man works, uh, according to the reflection, he works at Chattanooga Whiskey. And he's standing outside of the place. And, you know, Heather's got the sign that's on the glass perfectly. You know, it's like it's like she made a picture of the sign. But she's also got the guy standing there and his reflection, and his reflection has, you know, anyway, it's really cool. Very, very cool. How much of that massive lens? Oh, you needed all 400 for that one. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. It's very, very cool. I was waiting. I was sitting there with that there and just waiting on somebody to position themselves. Well, and well, the perfect person did because mm -hmm. he works he, there. See his uh, bandana, yeah, yeah. Chattanooga whiskey too. Mm -hmm. And you can see some of the front of his shirt and some of the back of his shirt. Yeah. Oh, cool. Pinky's here. Hello. All right. What is next? You, you got one more, don't you? Or did we did over Yeah. Well, I got one more reflection. Aha. Uh -huh. Now these mm -hmm. are, we call these uh, chicken duckies. Chicken duckies. But these are common gallinule. And uh, this photo was made at Merritt Island probably about uh, 20 minutes before the gator, Alligator. The gator <laughs> almost killed me. Uh, anyway, really cool. This is So this is a reflection picture. Now, these, these birds, we've seen them two or three times. We've seen them at Vieira Wetlands like two years ago. We saw them last year uh, at the Venice the Rookery, Venice Rickery. which is over on the Gulf Coast uh, near my sister's house. And then we saw them here at... at uh, Merritt Island. Merritt Island. We also saw them at the Contemporary. Oh yeah, the yeah, marina. yeah. They're right by, right by our hotel, and Heather can, she can pull the the sound of these up on her phone, and she'll call them in. I mean, they'll swim right up to her. It's yeah, awesome. They're, I mean, they're so like little ducklings following. Yeah, me if you ever see a common gallon, you'll pull up the sound on your phone, and they will come. And they'll call back to you. Yeah, yeah. She'll yeah. start talking to them. All right, very cool. Good job, Heather. Thanks, honey. So all of yours were all of yours with the, that's the, that's Z50, all three of yeah. yours are with the Z50 and the 18 to 400. It's all you need, just a Z50, <laughs> an FTZ adapter, and an 18 to 400 lens, and that's all you need. Yeah. I had a, a comment. Somebody commented on video today and asked how much all that cost, and I, I for guess, what my Z, uh, for a, your a, Z50 a, a Z50 and FTZ and an 18 to 400. And you're like, uh, really cheap. <laughs> yeah, it's not that much money, but why not just go to B&H and find out? But I'm sure I'll do it and respond. Okay, next is, this is Jesus Gonzalez. This is a first-time submitter, 
And look at those mountains. That's pretty. It's very cool. And that's some total stranger street photography. He said he doesn't understand English real good, but he thinks I'm looking for street photography. And he sent in lots of pictures, and I picked the ones that had people in them. Uh, so that they're, you know, because this is for people. So very cool. Thank you, Jesus. And this is his other one with some peeps. I like this. I is, like they're helping the little lady oh, upstairs. I did, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. That's a 51.8, and his other one is a 24, 2.8. I guess that's both primes. Very cool. Richard is here. Richard Young. Hello, Richard. He said the time changed in Germany. Ah, uh -huh. ours, ours is uh, couple days. Saturday night, Sunday morning. Yep. That's interesting that it changes it on uh, different days in different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. All right, here is Joe. Hmm. That, that's interesting. Uh, is, is that, it looks like it's icy. Yeah, I was going to say, is that frozen? Yeah. It's really cool. In more ways than one. <laughs> With a D5500 and the 18 to 55 kit lens. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. I like the reflection of the, the color in the. Yeah. I like all the silhouettedliness of it, too. Yeah. Look Ooh. at all those turtles. Are those sliders? Would you call those sliders, yeah. Heather? Those, yeah. And that's a Z6 with. Uh, Obviously, an FTZ adapter and the 200 to 500 f5.6. This is awesome. Very cool. Turtle reflections. You know, I always spook them. Before I get this shot in focus, yeah. I've spooked them and they've all four jumped in the water and swam off. Yeah. And I like how the water's clean here. Mm -hmm. I feel like where we see our turtles, the water's not nice and. Well, he might have. He might have corrected some yeah. stuff. I feel like ours is too dirty to correct <laughs> any of it. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty. It's though. pretty though. Good job, Joe. Thank you. All right, here is Joe with uh, a Z6 and the 24 to 70 f4. Nice bridge reflection there. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Reflections are awesome. I yeah. like it. Welcome. I like one eight thousandth. That is, oh wow! That's, he that's, must have. That's in some bright sun. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you, Joe. Oh, I know this spot well. <laughs> this is Joy, and she she caught some fall color in the cypress mm -hmm. trees. Somewhere over there is a lens cap to a to a, uh, to, a Fuji. to a Fuji eighteen to fifty five. Somewhere out there. Yeah, I love the colors in that. Oh, yeah, I do too. That's really nice. Yeah. One day I'm going to go out there and all this crap that's laying on the ground under those trees, I'm going to pick it up and drag it way back <laughs> so it'll be better for photography out there. <laughs> that's cool. Thanks, Joy. We got some more, Joy. Joy says she's looking for it. Yeah, your, your lens cap. Hook 'em horns. A little, uh,. Total stranger street photography looking right at her. Yeah. Can't get any more looking at her than that. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Very cool. Look at the bokeh. I know. Oh, I'm, what do you think she used? I'm going to guess she used the 18 to 400. That's my guess. We shall wait for her to say. Nope. nope. Uh, then the she used Z. the the fifty one point eight, or the thirty five one point eight. Z fifty and one of the Z lenses. She might have used the fifty to two fifty. But it's the fifty to two fifty. Yeah. I like that lens too. Yep. It's fifty to two fifty. Fifty to two fifty. Cool. Yeah, that I I, I wore that lens out. All mm -hmm. seventy five of the pictures I was talking about from the uh from the Animal Kingdom video, 
all 75 of them are with the 50 to 250. Mm -hmm. And then even, I, I had two other lenses in the bag, never even put them on. That lens is awesome. All right, thanks, Joy. And here's another. This is a, a total stranger street photography. This has got to be the Market Street on, Not Market on the, street. On the, the Walnut street. street Bridge. That is definitely on the Walnut Street Bridge. Thanks, Joy. And look at those cute feet. <laughs> that That's is cute. awesome. <laughs> I love that. That's, that's cool. I like the color too in the background. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Thanks, Joy. I and love this. This one's also on the Walnut Street Bridge. I recognize that railing, and this is one of the benches. Yeah. But that's cool. You can see the bench. This is reflections too. Yeah. You got reflections and uh, total stranger street photography looking at you, Joy. Yeah. Got the bench reflected in her glasses. Very cool. Good job, Joy. Very, very pretty. All right. Now we got Mike Mitchum. And uh, this is with the 55 to 200, which is the Fuji lens that I used at at uh, Animal Kingdom when we went last time. Very cool. Look at that reflection. Yeah. Look at the detail though in the reflection. Yeah. It's awesome. Like, I like the way the water... Mm -hmm. It's just cool. Yeah, I, like that I mean, and you can... It almost looks like he used a polarizer because you can see through it so good. Yeah, but you still have the reflection yeah well i mean sometimes you'll get it and on it's weird sometimes the polarizer if you dial it in just right you can still have Both. reflections but not have glare mm. whatever it is polarizer or not it's really cool i like the colors mm. all right all this is he said he just took he thought the glasses looked cool on the table the black glasses on the white tablecloth mm -hmm. and then he noticed, noticed then he noticed the reflection that's let me awesome. see I, uh, I think I want to say that's at the Opryland Hotel he said he didn't use a polarizer yeah it is the Opryland Hotel very cool hmm. very cool all mm -hmm. right, there's some total stranger. The cute little girl has picked herself a pumpkin, pumpkin to get ready to go home and carve. That's what the 18 to 135. That's a cool uh, focal range in a single lens. I mean, it's not 18 to 400, but, <laughs> but it's still cool. Very nice. And let's see. Let me. I'm, I'm gonna. I gotta read this one so I make sure and not mess it up. Okay, Mike says, <laughs> you said strangers, but I have to tell you the truth. This is my wife. Guess you could call her strange for marrying me, he says. <laughs> she seems pretty cool to me. I like that bird shirt. I, don't I know, like that mask. I don't know about that bulldog mask, but I like I the like bird shirt. Mask. The bird shirt's cool. Very cool. Thanks, Mike. And Mike sent me an email message saying, uh, let me know that that XT3 uh, firmware update was available. I didn't, I'm horrible about checking my email, so I didn't see it until 18 hours later when I had already updated, but that was awful. <laughs> it was awful thoughtful of you to email me and let me know there was a firmware update available. Oh, oh, it, oh it's me. I mean, that's not me. That's my daughter. This is, this is Casey. And look at this. This is with the Z50 and the super cheap 16 to 50 kit lens. This is at uh, Walt, Disney, Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom, and uh, I, I used the pop-up flash that's built into the Z50 to for a little bit of fill light, and look at the reflections. I was just thrilled to uh, make this photo. I made I made this one right here of Casey. This is, uh, that's on the right is Tom Sawyer Island at uh, Magic Kingdom, and on the, on the left is you're kind of in frontier land all along this thing, and that you can see uh, Splash Mountain is over here, and Big Thunder. Big Thunder's somewhere back there. And then, really near where this photograph was made, I made this photograph 
uh, kind of looking in the other direction. Same body of water. That's Tom Sawyer Island now on the left. And Heather is cute. Hmm. And uh, this is, that's is that Hunter Mansion right there? No, that's just part of Liberty Square. Oh. This is the launch for the... Liber but, for the Liberty Bell, yeah. yeah. But So Hunter Mansion must be back here. Yeah, it's back here. Yeah, like like maybe behind your ear. Yeah, probably. But anyway, lots of cool reflections. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a, a brilliant flash photographer by any stretch of the imagination but those these last two and there was one other in this same video of the magic kingdom video um which comes out on november the 11th unless i push them back because gosh it's hard to i'm struggling to keep three videos a week i may drop back to two at some point um but anyway ibis 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 this ibis. is at animal kingdom this is an area of the Animal Kingdom theme park where they have rosette spoonbills that are in this habitat. But everywhere in Orlando you see ibis, including in the rosette spoonbill area. And I, this is this is a reflection. You know, it's not a perfectly clear reflection, but I just loved the reflection in the water in this shot, so I picked it for uh, reflections. And there it is. The 50 to 250 this is one of the 75 pictures from the animal kingdom video that comes out in early november very excited about it i can't wait for y'all to see it okay oh total stranger street this is also right in front of the choo-choo i think this is in the video that comes out saturday and this is with the z6 and the helios the manual focus russian helios lens uh david I was talking to David. We were texting back and forth that day, and he was giving me a hard time about how I have to keep using the manual focus lens. Don't don't switch and put the autofocus lens on. So I did street photography that whole morning with the Helios, and uh, you get this is the whole family. You got grandmas looking at me, you got moms looking at me, big brothers looking at me, and uh, little redheaded boy who's leading the whole entourage he's not looking at me he's concentrating on walking but anyway total stranger street with the z6 and the helios and this is in the mexico pavilion at uh epcot and this is you know a lot of street photography is really stopped down um but i kind of like the idea of of shooting wide open and this is with the 35 1.8 on the z50 look at the bokeh yeah there's some pretty cool bokeh back there i was trying all day uh to just point the camera and without looking through the viewfinder and i'm not good at that I, most of the time i was cutting people's heads off but this one turned out okay all right that's enough of my pictures Ooh, Randy Myers. This is, uh, I think he said all of his are micro four thirds. So this is an Olympus micro four thirds camera. And with micro four thirds, you know, with a with a APS-C, you multiply times one and a half or with a Canon, it's by 1.6. Micro four thirds, you multiply by two. So this is a 40 millimeter shot. So that'd be 80 millimeter okay. full Good frame idea. equivalent. Really pretty colors. Yeah, that is really, really pretty. Really, really pretty colors. 12 to 40 so that's like a 24 to 82.8 that'd be that'd be the medium lens in the holy trinity right there yeah, i would like to be at that bench yeah right that's there. A, i don't know i wonder if the view from that bench is as good as the view from where randy was when he made this shot yeah it's really cool though okay uh this is possibly the same spot you see yeah, do you see, the, see bench? the bench yeah but this one is at 14 millimeters yeah. so 28 equivalent uh really it's gorgeous cool. yeah this one you get you know more back here you get a little foreground interest you see more of the sky yeah i like both of them though i do too i mean yeah I, I this would be like uh something if you were going to hang two pictures you know what i mean together in your yeah. house it's cool because they have the same feel and yet different. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Good job, Randy. Thank you for sending those in. And look at this. I this, love this. So this is Total Stranger Street and Reflections. He's calling this Collision. Hmm. And, uh, you know, this is the actual guy. And this is his reflection on this glass. That's I awesome. wonder how long he had to stand there and, to get that shot. 
It's just really, really cool. Yeah. Really cool. Great job. Georgia Tech. <laughs> All right. So this is a reflection Tupelo T. Hmm. And this is with a 45 millimeter 1.8. So that'd be the equivalent of a 90 1.8. Holy crap. So the reflection mm -hmm. is looks like a building maybe across the street. Yeah. But you can still see through the glass to see these coffee mugs inside. Yeah. Great work. And, oh, look at this. You can see a car, too. Oh, yeah. I didn't even notice yeah. that. That's yeah. awesome. That's, that's really nice work. I like that a lot, Randy. Yeah, I do, too. All right. All right. This is uh, physical training at Sunrise. That's Total Stranger Street. And they appear to be all looking at him. So he gets the bonus points. Back to the 12 to 42.8. Good job. Put some clothes on, fellas. What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't like this. This is uh, this this is Heather at at. Uh, oh shush. Well, you know Heather. You know she broke her foot, and uh, she walked around the the parks. I toughed it out for, for like two whole two days, days, and then on the third day of of parking, which was two weeks ago today, we got her a power chair, because you know she wasn't ready yet. But you did, you hung in there as long as you could. Did a great job. Oh, there's Disney's Soul, Soul. right there. The movie. Is it out? Uh uh. No, they're going to put it on um, Disney it Plus. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm, I'd like to see that. The previews look pretty cool. Yeah. Anyway, cool uh, photo. Of, yeah, I like the dog. The, Everybody's the commenting on the dog. Yeah, the dog's cool. I like the, the, uh, the Union Jack uh, suitcase that's hanging off the back of that one. Yeah. They have been shopping. Look at all the bags they've got. All right. And now, oh, no, this is still Randy. This one's cool, too. Yeah, I like it. This is really cool. This is uh, this one reminds me of, uh, you know, if I had just glanced at it, I would have guessed Richard Young had sent this one in. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool indeed. I'm not wearing his mask right, but it's still cool. <laughs> Uh, like the, uh, you know, you can just black and white a picture and it won't look like that. There's some work involved in, yeah. in getting that look. Mm -hmm. So, good job. Really yeah. good job. All right, so this is Ray. Uh, Ray, the official Chattanooga Football Club soccer photographer. And uh, he sent me one. Oh, no. My sister just texted me. Her husband has the COVID, so wish him the best. Uh, but Ray got this shot at Finley Stadium. And this is something that Ray is really good at. Uh, Ray and I used to do music photography together a lot, and he would often make a photograph of someone making a photograph with a cell phone. That's kind of like the Ray shot. And uh, this fella is holding up uh, That's Zeka. Uh, Zeka mask, and this particular match was uh, interesting because it was Zeka's last match. He's been a player for Chattanooga Football Club for years, and that match was his last. We didn't go to it. We were just getting back from Florida at the time, so we didn't go. But uh, we wish Zeka the best as well. Thanks, Ray. All right, That's Richard Young. You always got to read uh, Richard's stuff. He writes in-depth stuff now i think we haven't read richard's email but i think this is a vent of some sort heather kind of heather and i kind of flip through these real quick before the live stream i think that's a vent but we'll see what it actually is that is number one <coughs> excuse me i was asked to take a collection of photographs of an old factory here in Mannheim, germany and this photograph is one of a set of 14. It is of a domed mirror mounted high on the ceiling of one of the floors, which provides visibility. See, well, oh. it's not a vent. It's a mirror. How about that? That's awesome. It provides visibility to the people working there. I'm not sure if it's used these days. The inclusion of the electrical cable routing and fire mm -hmm. detector is deliberate. That's awesome. D850, three seconds, F11, ISO 64 oh, wow. at 50 millimeters. Uh, he's using the 50 millimeter F1.8G. 
the nifty fifty. That's cool. That's very cool. All right, number two, the historic town of Obidos. You think I'm saying that right? Sure. In Portugal, originally shot for the stone detail and the light above the entrance to one of many passages. It wasn't until I worked on the shadow detail that oh, the musician wow. was revealed and the photograph took another subject. Yeah, we, we uh, when Heather and I first looked through this, we said, well, where's the person? I don't see a reflection. Which, and then we noticed the um, squeeze box player back there, accordion player in the back. Very cool. But he's definitely there. Yeah, that's awesome. It's really cool. I like that a lot. All right, number three. I love this. Total Stranger, beautiful Lisbon, uh, possibly the most beautiful dry cleaners I've ever seen. Hmm. In the beautiful city of Lisbon, have your clothes cleaned to the sound of Fado drifting out of the surrounding bars and restaurants. One, one of the, of the best places, places. One of the best places in Europe to visit. That's so cool. I love that. That is awesome. They're cute. They are cute. Look how cute they are. They are adorable. D7100. Okay. Number four. Look at the dogs. Daddy's. I wonder if he rolled them down there in a uh, baby <laughs> in stroller. A, in a stroller. <laughs> The beautiful, uh, oh, Richard wasn't here. There's one of the earlier pictures. Somebody had two white dogs in, in, the, a, stroller. in, a, in a stroller. Okay, uh, this is number four. The beautiful south coast of Devon in England, one of my favorite places. I met this gentleman walking on the coastal path. He was sitting there with his dogs enjoying the view and the weather, and he was happy to let me take his photograph, which Aww. I sent him later. That's very cool. That's awesome. D7100. At 15 millimeters. I love that. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, I bet he was happy to get that photo. Yeah, for sure. All right, number five. Shot last week in the shared roof space of the building in which we live. It's not a place to spend too much time in. Late afternoon, with the sun catching the small roof light, the wall, and then the broken glass on the floor. Everything is exactly how it is with the broken parts of the furniture amongst the glass. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Yeah. Got a desk. You can go up there and get some <laughs> peace and quiet, do a little work. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of haunting. That's like a Halloween photo right yeah. there. It's cool. I like it. Ah, the 14 to 24, 2.8. They're finally about to release the Z uh, version of that. Y'all are quiet. Is my chat not loading, or are you guys just quiet? Everybody's mesmerized by yeah. these pictures. <laughs> okay. TV. That's cool. Look at all that yeah. beautiful fountain. You, this neighborhood... It's pretty. You, uh, you would think there'd be a golf course in the middle of yeah. this neighborhood. It's just beautiful. Bass Angler told me to shush. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's really pretty. I'm trying to see if anybody's got a a uh, a screen around their pool the way everybody in Florida does. You oh, know what yeah. I mean? All the pools in Florida have have screened areas around the swimming pool. I guess mm -hmm. keep all the bugs out. And TV's in, in Texas. Texas. It's really pretty. Thanks, TV. Yeah. All right, now this photograph right here reminds me of okay. my of my nephew. He looked it's definitely recent. He just voted. Good for him. As everybody should. <laughs> but this guy looks just like my nephew and my nephew loves his dog. So Yeah. I mean if it's like Johnny Crane's doppelganger. Mm-hmm. Uh, really, cool, <laughs> really cool picture. And he, uh, you know, it, it's almost like he knew he was having his picture made, but he didn't. Yeah. Or he's just happy to hang out with his dog. That's awesome. Dog looks wet. Looks like the dog's been in that in that pond we just looked at. It might have. <laughs> and he's laughing at the dog. <laughs> it's really cool. Thanks, TV. All right. Uh, Tim asked me if he could resend a picture, and I said sure. And this is the reflection to kill all reflections. There's nothing in this photograph that's not a reflection. 
the old great egret is standing tall and it looks like it's upside down but the name of the picture is not really upside down because it's completely reflected that's awesome really cool really cool indeed and look at the colors Mm -hmm. almost looks like it was taken this time of year yeah it really does yeah it's really cool thanks tim i'm telling you you people have got to follow tim on instagram by the name that i never can remember a l something 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 because every day he posts awesome pictures every single day there's new cool pictures being posted you finding it i'm trying to it's a l something Maybe I can. It's he is A L P A six C. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, every day he posts awesome, usually kind of macro photos of bugs and flowers and things, and sometimes uh, birds and wildlife. But seriously, follow Tim on instagram his mm -hmm. feed baby spiders is and awesome like it. and entertaining all right vince got a reflection from i wonder if vince tells us where this is from this is my first reflection shot taken with the z6 and the 24 to 72.8 oh it's in sacramento oh wait i think i'm oh I didn't, oh man, I messed up. I didn't see this picture. Shoot. Well, uh, I'll Can you just like, are you just sharing this window? Like yeah, I'm just this? sharing that screen. Yeah, so just. Yeah, he sent a picture that I did not see. There's my dirty desktop. <laughs> okay, go. so this is Vince's first picture that I failed to import into Lightroom because I missed it. And he says this one is, this is my first reflection shot taken with the Z6 and the 24-70 The Xenia are sitting on a pane of glass over a mola, mola from Panama. I wonder if that's some sort of carpet or something. Yeah, he says you can read more about mola textiles. At the following link. Oh, okay. Yeah, Very so cool. it's definitely some sort of, yeah, Okay. it's pretty though. Yeah, it's really cool. So I figured out that I can kind of save the day if I fail to import one. All right, so that was number, that was his first one. And let me see what it says about this one. This is my second reflection shot taken with the D5100 and the 18 to 55 kit lens. This is the Tower Bridge in Sacramento. Oh, it's very cool. Yeah. That, like that that's, a lot. Uh, yeah. I guess this must be a suspension bridge. These thingamabobs must pull this center section up. That's what I was wondering, like a drawbridge. Well, I don't, I think it may just pull the whole thing straight up. Oh, okay. Maybe the way it works. Oh, okay. We're at the, I'm surprised you're not Googling it. Tower Bridge, Sacramento. <laughs> it said Tower Bridge Open. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Yep, straight up. I, guessed it, it straight I up. guessed it right. That is it really goes straight cool. up. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Vince. Very nice photos. And now this is, gosh, I wonder if he sent uh, two. Stranger. Yeah. Oh, wait. This is my entry for a photo of Total Stranger taken with the Z6 and the 24 to 70 2.8 at 24 from a very low angle. The bridge is on one of the bike trails in Folsom, California. That's awesome. That bridge reminds me... Of the Tennessee River Park. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It did me too. 
Oops, I have gone crazy. Yeah, that's cool. I like the way, you know, the, the, the gentleman on the bicycle is checking you out while you're checking him out. That's really cool. Yeah. Everything about that's really nice. Great job, Vince. Thank you. That's the last one. Oh, that's the last one? Mm -hmm. How can that be that? Well, I guess it is. So we really got 48 because I goofed up and missed one of Vince's. So sorry about that. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, let's look through them one more time again fast. Okay. I like to go through them one more time. Mm -hmm. I messed it up. All right, look at all these awesome pictures that you folks sent in. You guys have lots and lots of talent, especially these. <laughs> and I appreciate y'all very much for sending these in. This stream would be just me and Heather talking about Disney World. That would be kind of boring. If it weren't for all these great pictures you guys sent in. So thank you very much. Hey, Casey Poo. Hey, Heather, for sending all these in. Very cool. All right, now let's delete them. Okay, so um, looks like people are still kind of interested in the live stream. Where I, I gave some brief thought to maybe not doing these anymore because uh, it had been almost a month and not many pictures had come in. And all, all of a sudden, the last five or so days, I got a flood. So <laughs> uh, let's keep going. Let's, let's keep doing it. So what is the challenge for next time? This ought to be an easy one. Um, and, uh, you know, it may be past peak for you. Uh, the, the challenge is fall or autumn color. And if it's past peak, you can, you can send me a photo that you, that you already made, you know, in the last week or so, or, you know, some places the peak is not happening yet. And, uh, if you're in a place where there, there is no fall color ever, just send me a picture of something, <laughs> send me a picture of something colorful. So that is our challenge. Don't forget tomorrow night, if you're a Star Wars person, to watch Mandalorian. Mando. That's going to be awesome. And uh, check out David's live stream at 530 on Tuesday. And send us a picture to fillstreampics at gmail.com. Fall or autumn color. Um, can't wait to see what you come up with. Now, if, you're in, if you are in uh, the Southern Hemisphere and it's not fall... Uh, I guess you can send a picture from since six months ago or you know what if you're in the southern hemisphere where it's spring for you send me a spring picture that'll be awesome that so, would be we, cool. so we can see what's going on right now on the other side of the world mm -hmm. very cool indeed all right so that is episode 11 of our live stream and we appreciate y'all coming and hanging out with us very very much and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.